Senate Government Operations Committee. It is um, Wednesday, March 17th. And um, as Senator Collimore has reminded us, Saint, happy St. Saint Patrick's Day today. He has on his tie. The rest of us, I guess. Um, oh, I agree. and Senator Parent also has on his tie. I guess you can tell who are the Irish among us. <laughs> um, in any case, welcome. And um, we have been working with um, Senator Parent around his amendment. And I know that we voted three to two yesterday to not support it, but, but supported the basic concept that we wanna increase, continue to increase um, participation in our elections. So um, I believe Amarin has a, a new um, amendment that um, if you would, I don't know if everybody got a copy of it. Um, if you want it or if it's posted and if you would like to um, share it, Senator Parent, do you wanna tell us what your intention here is? And um, Yeah, so I, you, know, I, you. I, you know, from the beginning, I, you know, I obviously started at one level, but you know, always with the hopes and I appreciate the committee and the Secretary of State for working with us to get to something that we could all agree on. Um, I understand that not being in the building, this process just gets a lot harder, uh, but ultimately, um, you know, came down to another version of language that um, I think the chair of the committee could support, and I hope the rest of the committee could support, um, and the Secretary of State's office, and basically, we'd be asking for on or before January 30th, 2023, the Secretary of State's office shall submit a written report, so no study committee, just a report from the office um, to the House and Senate Committees on Government Operations with its findings, findings and recommendations for legislative action on issues related to implementing universal vote by mail for municipal and primary elections uh, and the impact of expanding vote by mail would have on um, access to voting among those who have been historically, who have historically been disenfranchised in populations have historically low voter turnout um, and if, you know a few other minor things, but ultimately it gets to what I was hoping a study committee would get to. Um, the time's only a month or two later than what we were asking the study committee to do. Um, obviously, you know, it, I, I think this is you know probably as far as we can go to do anything, and um, just hope to to gain your support on this iteration of the amendment. Thank you. Um, uh, Chris Winters, would you like to? Sure, thank you, Senator. Chris Winters, Deputy Secretary of State. And we really, we have no problem with this amendment and we thank everybody for, for working on it. Uh, we're just really glad that there's so much broad support for vote by mail. And as we've been saying, we just need to approach the, the August primaries and the local elections really cautiously as there are very different issues to consider there than there are for a general election. And this amendment would have us look at that um, look at these issues over the next year um, and the year after that, and then bring forward our analysis with a proposed path forward. Um, so we have, have no, no issues with this amendment. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> Senator Collimore? I support it. What? I support it. Oh, good. Okay, thanks. I didn't hear that. Um, Senator Polina? I, I, I like it. Okay. Senator Rahm? Yes, I really appreciate, um, Madam Chair, you sort of taking extra time on this, and I do support it. Thank you, and and um, I <clears throat> will get Senator uh, Clarkson when she when she joins us. But and uh, Senator Parent, I appreciate your. Um, I know you were in the car when we were talking, and you were far away from your computer, so giving me the authority to talk with Amarin and have her having her draft this yeah, was helpful. Uh, and again, I appreciate the committees, you know, uh, giving me you now four meetings on this and and getting to a point where we can say yes. I, I really appreciate it and uh, look forward to working with you as we move forward. And hopefully in 2023, when we we get the results from this, to do something exciting. Whoever is here in 2023, right? It's yes. important that you stuck with it, though, Corey. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Thank you. And and I think that we should say that from the very beginning. We all appreciated um, the intent behind behind your 
initial um, attempt here. So thank yeah, you. So, and I appreciate you guys willing to work with me. So thank you again for the process. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank Bye. You.